Yeah. 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 Ruby, he said Tauro. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He said oh. fish. Oh. Oh. What pal fish? Here in the seconds, I'm in the shallow end of time. You know, I'm just busy. I'm really, really busy with seconds. And then I'm, I'm a bit busy with minutes. But if I take care of seconds and minutes, then everything else takes care of itself. Tick. agency they don't issue trapping licenses for crayfish if you accidentally catch it then you could humanely kill it that's what they say so what I did is to, 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 to get a normal rod license and set up this normal carp rig and I incorporated crayfish fishing mechanism on the surface you're going fishing for carp but at the same time you're kind of secretly <laughs> fishing trying to fish for accidentally catch this crayfish. So that's the strategy that I came up with. What's that about? Trees. To do with our way of fucking up the world. Is that what you're on about? Climate crisis, yeah? Yeah. All oh, gases and all that. Is that what you mean? Good man, you need to tackle that, don't we? Across the world, industry sort of ravaged a lot of, of these beautiful areas, and by rewilding, we can we can bring them back. Given a bit of a bit of time and a bit of encouragement, nature does find a way, and we can restore these ecosystems. taking a group of people that includes environmentalists, ecologists, scientists, local residents, artists, taking them to different spaces along the riverway and getting them just to talk, to explore, to learn new things, to ask questions, I think has been really beneficial to everyone concerned. And that's not just the artists, the scientists and ecologists have said the synergies between what it is they're trying to achieve and what the artists were doing was uh, remarkable. Everyone has the same objective, they're just coming at it with a different discipline and it leaves the door open for huge potential for future collaboration. <laughs> because of these fantastic trees behind us. This is the, the Mediterranean fig, and it's part of what we call a recombinant urban ecology. So along the whole of the river course, we've got a range of different species, some native, some non-native. And these are uh, the only non-native protected wild plant in Britain. So this very light craft is also a kind of interesting symbol of accelerationist capitalism. Like our society, they're also very fragile and precarious. 
sense of how we're living is to be busy with our day to day, our week to week, month to month, and also who's proximal to us. And I think that sense of the immediacy means it's really, really difficult for us broadly to think about consequence beyond those scales. And so then I think we need our political systems to work better because every person is tasked with making a decision about taking a car or taking public transport but cumulatively they make a difference but they're not the ones that are going to turn anything around with regard to climate. of men. We build, we make, we create, we innovate, we destroy, we plunder. Can we build better? Can we build better? With our civilization is looked in a distant future and they will find it just loads of loads of chicken bone in, in the landfill. So that's that's sort of signifier of our <laughs> civilization sadly. The reason why I'm looking into the invasive crayfish is exactly the chicken shop. What I'm trying to do is to suggest an alternative to the sort of chicken based delivery economy. In a circular economy, we're supposed to kind of go make, reuse, mend, remake, recycle. So that, that's the kind of the idea. So that is why you are doing this! This practice of where there's, there's a big hole of lack of knowledge and you do everything around it and create this particular figure that we're never going to know about. So it's the idea of the horizon, you know. The, uh, the subversive nature of it being, uh, you know, uh, flying but using solar power so it's so it's uh, zero carbon and we're doing it just next to when there was a protest to keep the airport open that wasn't planned of course but it just it was just the look of how it happened that like was a, a protest to keep an airport open and, and uh, zero carbon flying piece of art I made my boat in a way that kind of looks like a food courier rucksack. And what are you going to do with the crayfish when you catch them? Um, deep fry <laughs> and uh, bring it to yeah, people. Where does 
family off the street. So we're like, really, this has blown us away. So, um, yeah, just seeing all of that, just, it, it just, it was brilliant. Just want to say thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Hey, great, hey, great.